everyone, my name is Grant K and welcome to my blog. In today's video, we'll be examining inside of Autodesk Smoke what happens when media has been moved around the file system. Now, I don't recommend this and normally we don't move things around in the middle of a job, but it does happen. So, with all applications, including Autodesk Smoke, we then go through that process of relinking and reconnecting to that material. Let's have a look at this type of process in Autodesk Smoke. On the Smoke desktop, we have an edited timeline that is using QuickTime Media. The grey MOV icon indicates this on every single clip. For your reference, a light grey icon represents linked media and a dark grey icon represents a cached local copy. Since Smoke can directly link to native media, all the clips in this timeline have got a light grey icon. So this timeline is also saved in the Clip Library database. Now to set up the scenario, I'm going to clear out the Smoke desktop and enter into the Clip Library. To enter into the Clip Library, you would choose it through the blue pop-up menu and press the Open button. Here is the timeline clip saved in the library. At this moment, as I scrub through the clip or play it, you can clearly see that the media is linking to it. I have exited Smoke and we can have a look at the finder to see the physical media files. Here we have folder 1 which contains all the media that the timeline is linking to in Autodesk Smoke. I'm also going to select all the media files and move them into the empty folder labeled number 2. So by flicking between the folders, you can see that I have moved the media and not created a copy of it. When coming back into Smoke, you can now see that the clip in the clip library has checkerboarded. This means that the files are not in their original imported location. If you were to move the files back, they would instantly reappear. However, we would like to define a new location for this media. So the first thing to do is we need to make the timeline forget the original location of the media. This can be achieved by unlinking the timeline. To do this, you can go to the Tools menu at the bottom of the interface and choose the Unlink Relink option. Make sure that you have selected the timeline clip in the clip library and set the unlink option to unlink video and audio. Press the unlink button and Smoke will ask you to confirm your decision. You can click the confirm button or press the enter on the keyboard and you will see that your clip now displays the unlinked media message. The next step is to find the media. This is done through the gateway, Autodesk Smoke's equivalent to browsing in the Apple Finder. For easy sake, we'll split the screen up into a dual view split located at the top left hand corner of the screen. To browse the gateway, click on the blue pop-up button and choose the forward slash volumes folder under the gateway title. If I open up my storage media drive, you can see the two folders. Folder 1 is empty and opening folder 2 you can see the media for the timeline. At this point, it is worth mentioning that any media you want to relink to must be exposed in the browser like you can see in folder number 2, otherwise Smoke will ignore the folder. Now that we've located our media, you can select the timeline clip in the clip library. In the relink options, you have a few choices. Under the relink button, you can choose to relink to the footage from various locations. In this case, you can turn the option from real to from gateway. This saves you from having to import everything into the clip library first before relinking. Now if the media has embedded tape name and time code, you could relink to those properties and this is great for image sequence work when working with files such as DPXs. If you are using Avid Media, you can use the UMID option, but for the most part, using the clip name will link back to most generic media files. Now press Relink. 
The first message informs you that smoke will begin to scan the gateway for media sources. Press confirm or enter on the keyboard. The second message informs you how many sources it has found from the exposed media in the gateway and asks your permission to relink. Press confirm or enter on the keyboard. Smoke completes the relink process and renames the timeline by adding a dash RLK to the end of the clip name. You can now select the relinked clip and reload it to the desktop. Placing this down in the record area and expanding it out, you can now see how we have relinked back to the media even though the footage now exists in a different location. Remember, everything you have seen in this video relates to media that has been imported and linked to through the gateway. A final example of this is if you were to restore a linked archive, you may need to go through this process in order to reconnect to media that may now be in a different location from the original. If you would like to know more information about Autodesk Smoke or you'd like to download the free 30-day trial copy, just go to autodesk.com forward slash smoke for Mac. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.